Now I can show you over here under subscription that this is the $9.99 a month with ads. So let's try a couple of things. First, let's pick a movie and see how many ads get thrown in this movie if it shows us. Hello everybody. Today we're back with a new streaming service which is just called Max. As many of you may know, last week on May 23rd, yes, I know I'm a week late. I was in New Jersey, so I couldn't make this video. Everything you've seen for the past like 15 days was uploaded before May 17th, before we went out of town. Either way, HBO Max has rebranded itself as just Max. This is due to the fact that Warner Brothers, who owned HBO, ended up buying Discovery, who of course owns Discovery Channel and HGTV and all these other channels. And Max is going to kind of, kind of bring those together, but not completely. So we'll go over the features of Max, the price structure of Max, and then I'm even going to show you what it looks like to stream from Max on an Xbox and a desktop. And just for the fun of it, I'm even going to show you what it's like to have Max with ads because they do have an ad option. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out the new Max streaming service. Now one of the most important features of basically any streaming service is the cost. Now before with HBO Max, there was a $9.99 a month plan where, where you had ads and there was a $14.99 a month plan where you did not have ads. The new plans look like this. So as you can see for $9.99 a month, you're able to stream on two devices at the same time and you get a full HD resolution with ads. For $15.99 a month, you're able to stream on two devices at the same time, get a full HD resolution, download up to 30 videos to watch on the go and you don't have ads. So if anything, it's it's worth it for just not having ads. And then the ultimate is the ad free, where you can watch up to four devices at once. You get 4K Ultra HD streaming quality, you get immersive audio with Adobe Atmos, and you can download up to a hundred items to watch on the go, all without ads. A little side note is you can actually pay for these yearly over monthly. So the $9.99 a month plan could be $99 per year, so you'd save a little bit. The $15.99 per month plan can be $149 for the year for you to save a little bit. And the $20 a month plan is $199 a year for you to save a little bit. Now, one question a lot of you are probably wondering is, do I still need Discovery Plus if I was paying for HBO Max and Discovery Plus? Well, I decided to tweet to HBO Max support to try to find out this exact answer. As you can see here, I basically asked HBO Max, do I still need my Discovery Plus? Can I cancel my Discovery Plus once Max is available? But you notice that they say you can stream your Discovery favorites as well as all of HBO Max on Max when it launches. So to me that says you cannot stream everything from Discovery Plus as they have not been clear here. They are keeping Discovery Plus as its own individual service. So for the people wondering, if you really enjoy your Discovery Plus content, just keep Discovery Plus, it's only $7 a month, and then have either your $16 or $20 a month HBO plan or the $10 if you want, because it doesn't seem that everything from Discovery Plus will be on Max, just the favorites. I'm guessing like Love It or Listed, Deadliest Catch, 30 jobs. The bigger Discovery Channel items will most likely be over there, while the smaller stuff that you may enjoy would not be. So let's go to our Xbox and boot up Max and see what it looks like without ads. And let's see if we can tell what plan we're on now. So we're on our Xbox, we'll go to All Games, Apps, and you can still see mine says HBO Max. So we'll select HBO Max and let's see what it does. I'm thinking I'll get some kind of disclaimer or something. Not 100% certain, but. All right, so there we go. HBO Max is now maxed. Dive into all your favorites and explore an expanded catalog with new stories to discover. Start streaming now. Download the Max app, then sign in with your HBO Max credentials. All right, so it is a totally separate app. I thought they would kind of just upgrade this app, but I guess not. So there we go, Warner Media Global. All right, so we'll download this app and then we'll log into our account and uh, see how this works. New little Max logo there. Welcome, Christopher. Your profiles, watch history, and my list have a new home. Start streaming, you agree? It's here. Hit movies. All right, start streaming. Oh, and look at that. It already had our profiles and everything. That's pretty nice. Wow, so a little... I feel like there was more here to the left with HBO Max. So this is a 
our stuff, I guess. We really like The Last of Us. So series, that is of course your uh, TV shows, Love in Paradise. And then you can go to movies. All right, all right, movies. Suicide Squad, one of my favorites. What else do we have up here? We have HBO as an option. That's pretty interesting. HBO Originals, okay. So this is probably where Game of Thrones is, all of that kind of stuff. I believe some of this, you know, HBO was always seen as more adult uh, service. And I think this was a way to try to remove the HBO name to get rid of some of the adult side of it and make it a little more family friendly, but still have that HBO content there. And then new and notable, Kendra Sells Hollywood. Wow, she's, I didn't know she did that. Wow, they have a coming soon section. That's pretty cool. Popular movies, Max Originals. So they definitely did not separate the Discovery stuff, kind of how I thought they would. Like, Adventure and Survival, this should be something from Discovery. So here we go, yeah, see Deadliest Catch, Expedition Unknown, Moonshiners, Naked and Afraid, Dual Survival. So your popular items, but definitely not nearly everything that actually comes with Discovery Plus. So yes, do keep your Discovery Plus if you really enjoy Discovery Plus. Now let's see, I'm not certain what plan I'm on, which I don't know if I can, I don't think I can find out here. So I'm gonna have to check playback, here we go, account. So yes, we are only on the ad free. So we are not on the 4K plan. So if we go into here and click a movie, said movie would not be in 4K. Like Joker should definitely be in 4K. Yeah, 4K Ultra HD, but uh, this would dumb it down 1080p. How's it look? Click my play button. Couple seconds of loading. And there you go, the movie's playing. Let's go sign up for the ad tier and see exactly how it works. All right, $9.99 a month, continue, fill in all my info, able to pay with PayPal, so that makes it a little easier. And there we go, we're all set. That was literally a couple of clicks here. So we'll click start streaming and we'll pick my profile. And you can see here, it looks same. So series, movies, HBO, and news and notable. Now I can show you over here under subscription that this is the $9.99 a month with ads. So let's try a couple of things. First, let's pick a movie and see how many ads get thrown in this movie if it shows us. I want to try to pick something. Uh, I'd rather pick something newer. Do we have something newer? Let's pick this Shazam movie. It's a little newer. And let's see if it shows us our ads. So 35 second ad. Not too bad. It does give you the counter, so I like that. And of course you can't skip them or anything. Call or click to get a quote today. So that was the little 35 second ad we had to watch before we could watch our movie. And yes, yes, you can see the ad breaks. So there's an ad break here. This looks to be about 16 minutes in. And then there's not another ad break for over an hour. Look at that, wow, at an hour and 28 minutes. So that's, that's really not too bad. Let's uh, try to jump, I'm gonna try to jump to here to hit one of these ads intentionally. Everybody and it's another 30 everyone. second ad. So that's really not that bad. So that's really not that bad. And you can still see the other ad here. Let me jump to it just to see. And it's also a 30 second ad. So let's check a TV show. So let's go to series because a lot of people like, like to watch TV shows. And let's see. Well, The Last of Us. That was a great TV show. Let's pick one of these and let's see what kind of ads we get on it. So. Oh, 45 second ad to start. Let's see what happens after that. That was a 45 second ad at the start. And once it gets going, let's uh, see what we have here. So, weirdly enough, it's not showing any ads. No. Are we sick? No, of course not. The way she dies is, is not pretty. Okay. It's not let's uh, let's try one more series. I just want to see, trying to see, you know, ads. So let's pick uh, this one I've been hearing a lot about. Let's pick it. 
So at the beginning, 40 second ads. So basically 40 second ads at the beginning, and it seems close to 30 second ads in between, which is pretty the right nice. way. It's a family thing since 1939. So now we're on to this one, and yeah, it seems to basically, I mean, as of now, I'm not seeing any ad showing that's going to play in this. So the ad plan doesn't really seem uh, too bad at the moment. And so this is the Mac streaming service on in, on a Google TV. I was going to show you fast forwarding, so I'm going to start the Joker movie again. So Joker's playing. I'm able to basically just press the right button to skip forward. Right now I'm skipping 10 seconds each time. 10 seconds each time you click it. And yeah, holding the button down. Okay, so yeah, if you hold the button down, then you get the 1X, 2X, and you can move it up through that. That's an option as well. So there's a little tour of uh, fast forwarding with Mac streaming service. There we go. That is essentially my video on the new Max streaming service. You've got to see it on an Xbox. You've got to see it on a PC. I can definitely say that the ads do not seem that bad. For $9.99 a month to have a 45 second ad at the start and two 30 to 40 second ads in the middle of like an hour and a half movie is phenomenal. To me, that says that I could actually just pay for the ad supported version and probably save five to ten dollars a month or I guess six to ten dollars a month. But as always, the streaming service seems like great quality. Everything loads ultra fast. One caveat, I do have this uh, nice Wi-Fi 6E mesh router setup that is cabled through this switch and everything's ran on a one gigabit by 30 meg upload internet connection. That helps me have faster load speeds than you may see when you're trying to stream this service at your house. In the end, they do give you three options in price point, whether you want to pay 20 for the max, 10 for the cheapest, or 16 for right in the middle. But I will say that if you love your Discovery Plus videos, do not get rid of your Discovery Plus. Just uh, pick one of these and also have Discovery Plus because they did not bring everything from Discovery Plus to max just the discovery favorites whatever those are to warner brothers media so of course if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments I always try my best to uh, read those and reply back and really i think that will do it for this video click like click subscribe indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and we'll see you in the next one which will actually be a ways away because what you'll see for about the next week and a half is our trip to new york and new jersey and then as soon as that's over you'll be seeing our trip to orlando so there won't be any tech stuff for a minute. This is uh, my last tech video for probably two or three weeks. See you next time. Deuces.